When an event or situation is painful, sometimes you find yourself becoming dispirited and lethargic. Such painful experiences can come without any warning or from a collected series of difficult events that were not dealt at the time and were put aside to fester and grow. Sometimes a person has to hit rock bottom to face such a dramatic state of mind and being before they begin seeing the radiancy of their own inner light and that they must reach a little deeper inside themselves for the courage and strength that is there can bring themselves out of their state of misery and despair. As you begin climbing out of the dark pit of misery and from feelings of helplessness, you begin to sweep out the dust and grime that negative patterns and thought forms left behind, and begin teaching yourself to think and be differently, to come from a brighter, and more positive light. When one is being rebirthed, there is a lot of letting go going on. You cannot keep the old that caused so much pain if you wish to move forward. Remember dear ones, what you think of yourself and believe is what you will attract. Because the choices you make are your responsibility, it is you that must choose if you are to remain in the past, or focus on doing your best, being fully present in the here and now. Of course, reaching any goal can take time. When bringing yourself out of a painful situation, don't beat yourself up because you think you didn't move quickly enough. Healing has no set time. Everyone will heal differently and at different times. What is important dear ones is that you give yourself the love and compassion you deserve. Forgive yourself for allowing yourself to become entrapped by dark, destructive emotions that came as an aftermath of a sad, painful experience. Learning to let go of the past, which includes any emotional attachment that lead to emotional pain, is necessary for your success to move forward. You might find yourself taking two steps forward and one step back sometimes, but don't give up on yourself. Believe in yourself, that you are capable of change, and that inside of you is a greatness just waiting to come forth and shine in all you do. As you begin making plans to start yourself over, take the time dear ones to summarize where you are in life, and make note of what you no longer need or find useful. Determine if you are holding on to self-sabotaging behaviors and ways that clouds your judgment. The more you become aware of certain debilitating habits and behaviors, the more you can identify what you want from what you don't want. Try to remember dear ones that any one story of your past does not define you and has no foretelling magic on your future. Every time you repeat your story to others, listen and be observant to how they react. Being aware of other people's reaction to your repeated story helps you to refocus your attention on the present and encourages you to realize how much work needs to be done here in the present, beginning with today. When you replay painful parts of the past, realize dear ones how reliving the pain of those done events affect your physical body. As you begin exploring the deep caverns of your inner self, you discover that your body language and your way of living and being is embedded in your mind and some of these ways need to be released as they have carried so much pain for so long. There are many forms of healthy release found through contemplative prayer, meditation, yoga, exercises that stimulate brain function, and others that you will discover as you take the time getting to re-know yourself. As you learn to let go of the past as well as the destructive emotions that were associated with a certain event, you begin understanding the importance of self-care and self-love. You need to depend on yourself to making you happy, not depending or relying on others. You must be happy and content with you, and this dear ones takes a lot of work. Be patient with yourself. Don't expect to make leaps and bounds of difference in every aspect of yourself immediately. Give yourself breathing room to make mistakes, and see that every mistake made is actually something to learn from, not hide away from. As you continue making positive changes to how you live, bring your focus to your intention, and really concentrate on it. Empower yourself by creating a timeline, a kind of map that is flexible that provides fair descriptions in either pictures or words on what you want to achieve, and put them in order to what is realistic and feasible for you to reach. Display this timeline or mapping in a place where you can see it every day, so it can be a physical affirmation that you are in charge of your life and you are on track and making all the necessary changes to bring each step closer to achieving your goal or goals.
changing how you think does take work and a whole lot of effort. But are you not worth it? We think you are. Now you must think you are too. Do you know that it takes so much effort and uses up so much of your energy just to keep the painful past alive, when in fact the past is the past, it is over and you are here in the present. It is your choice dear ones to remain struggling and fighting with those painful past events. Freedom and liberation are choices only you can make, but when you do make that choice to stop reeling in the pain and hurt, you begin to see that no matter what has occurred, your greatness has not been diminished, simply it has been covered up. As you get more accustomed to saying hello to today, never forget dear ones, just how amazing and unique you are. If there is any a time you are feeling alone, remember we of the divine are near, and when you call to us, from the purity of your heart, we will be there guiding you, supporting you, and loving you.